created to worship. And I think we're doing it really well. Um, I will say, yes, we loaned you two people for your bell choir, and I would love to invite you sometimes to bring your bell choir over for us. We've been talking about that. <laughs> we're the United Methodist Church. Our founder, John Wesley, was an Episcopal priest, and there weren't enough of them to go around, so they had what was known as um, circuit riders. They would ride from one church to the other. And I was thinking, as I'm sitting here and listening to this, it's wonderful that we hear it, but wouldn't it be wonderful if we had circuit riding and all of us could talk over and share some of this with some of the other churches so we could see how beautiful worshiping God really is. So I have a poem that's being brought tonight from our church by Sue Norton Falkland. Um, she started in Iowa, went to school in Texas, and married into New England. And as a New Englander myself, who went to Texas, Virginia, and South Carolina, I tell people New England is really an acquired taste. <laughs> <laughs> she will bring a very beautiful poem. What she may not know is the poem is entitled Tabitha, who is one of the um, women in the Bible. How we came at this was we invited the women in our church into a meeting and to bring their favorite biblical character. I really wish you could have seen it because we learned to learn about these women as they really were rather than as they've been presented by men. Diversity. <laughs> um, but we also, my oldest child is named Tabitha. So this is a very special poem. And um, I'm just so delighted to have her here. She is an artist also, and her painting, This Joint is Jumping, is at our church. So I invite you at any time to come see the painting, too. Good evening. The ancient biblical city of Java, uh, Java is about 35 miles west of Jerusalem, which was the home of a Hebrew woman named Tabitha. She was also called Dorcas, that is the Greek name. There isn't very much known about Tabitha. The Bible does not state whether she was single, whether she was married, um, widowed, rich, or poor, or whether she even had children. Tabitha was a Christian. She was a woman who was so full of many good deeds and charitable works for others. She was well known by the widows in Java because she was a seamstress and she sewed beautiful tunics and garments for the widows. She gave a lot of her time and effort to help others. The whole community felt a great loss when Tabitha became sick and died. After her body was washed and placed in an upper room, two men were dispatched to a nearby city and to find the apostle Peter and ask him, please come to Joppa immediately. When Peter arrived, he saw that the widows were very upset about the loss of Tabitha. They showed Peter the garments that she had made for them and told him about her wonderful, wonderful deeds. Peter sent everyone out of the room and then knelt down to pray to God. My poem was written in response to reading this event as recorded in the Bible in the book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 36 to 43. <clears throat> good works and good deeds throughout every day comprised Tabitha's to 
discipleship and the way. And Jaka Jaka, she did abide until all of a sudden she took ill and died. Washed and motionless in an upstairs room she lay, while Peter was summoned to come right away. Peter arrived as the widows were weeping and showed him Tabitha's handmade garments in their keeping. Out to the widows, he did say, as he knelt down beside the body to pray. With that hesitation, he turned and he said, Tabitha, get up. And she got up from the desk. To the saints and the widows, he showed her a why with a cord. So this became known, and then he agreed in the Lord.